Another 800,000 Americans filed for jobless claims last week as the pandemic keeps taking a bite out of the economy. But get this, Arizona may have been hit with as many as 2 million fraudulent unemployment claims dwarfing previous estimates. So three on your side, Susan Campbell has been tracking this for months and joins us with uh, the latest details that she has uncovered. Good morning. Good morning. One of the signs that a claim may be fraudulent is an out of state address. Now, DES believes scammers may be using random in state addresses to try to get around it. When this letter from Arizona's Department of Economic Security landed in Ronnie Litchfield's mailbox, he handed it right back to the postman. I retired, so I wasn't looking for unemployment and had with somebody else's name on it. On a neighborhood social media page, another neighbor shared a similar story. This was other people twice in my neighborhood within you know a couple blocks of each other. And if that's happened twice here, I wonder how much it's going on in the rest of the state. Turns out a lot. First one with my name. Marilyn Dantico got a prepaid card from DES in the mail last week and reported it to the agency right away. The person said, Tear it up. Don't worry about it. She found out several neighbors had also received unexpected cards. Then another one landed in her mailbox. This time, it wasn't addressed to her. Someone I don't know, have never heard of. So she called the state's fraud line again. And I got a busy signal. It's just crazy to have a busy signal on a fraud line. That's really the bottom line. A DES spokesperson tells Three on Your Side, in the past three weeks, the agency has received a million new claims for pandemic unemployment assistance. DES believes a majority of them are fraudulent. That's on top of another million claims that were already flagged as fraud. As we've previously reported, the DES director estimates the state has paid out hundreds of millions of dollars in fraudulent claims. It doesn't seem that hard to me to put some checks and balances in place to prevent this from getting to the point it is where DES is mailing out letters. This week, DES announced it is close to implementing a robust front end identity check to prevent fraud while making it faster and easier for legitimate applicants to claim their benefits. The agency also says in most cases, the fraud is caught quickly and money is never actually loaded onto the cards. If you receive one of these cards in the mail that you're not expecting it and it has your name on it or someone else's name, make sure you file a complaint with DES. Then the agency says destroy the card, Scott. All right, Susan, thank you for that.